The James Webb Space Telescope spotted a large object about 10 light years away moving toward Earth. The posts claim that the telescope captured the object changing its trajectory. The Object 3 i Atlas was discovered on July 1, 2025 by the Atlas Survey Telescope System in Chile, and its hyperbolic trajectory confirmed it originated beyond the solar system. Its speed, orbit, and composition made it unmistakably interstellar in origin. Observations from the James Webb Space Telescope JWS on August 6, 2025 revealed that its coma is strikingly rich in carbon dioxide relative to water, and that it may have formed near a CO2 ice line in a distant disk or been exposed to intense radiation. Up to this point, it was already a treasure trove of information, but the suggestion of nine hidden satellites or fragments changes the stakes. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Imagine a single interstellar object traveling unbound into our solar system, now accompanied by an unseen group, a miniature cluster or escort of objects you never expected. If real, this opens up multiple possibilities. These hidden companions could be fragments stripped from the parent body during past interaction, debris from an ancient collision, captured asteroidal companions that drifted along with it, or even objects ejected simultaneously from a distant parent star system. The idea that 3i Atlas could be more than just one wanderer, but part of a composite system, forces a profound shift in our understanding. The implications ripple outwards. First, the presence of multiple objects suggests the interstellar journey of 3i Atlas might not be entirely solitary. Perhaps this body once belonged to a more complex system, one that ejected multiple fragments together, preserving a loose cohesion even as it traversed interstellar space. If the hidden objects are indeed related, they provide a unique window into the ejection mechanisms that fling bodies out from parent star systems. Did the parent star undergo a dynamical upheaval? Was there a massive scattering event, a collision among planetary bodies, or a chaotic early stellar evolution that launched this mini-fleet into deep space? And why have these companions remained coherent enough to arrive in our vicinity together? Equally fascinating are the insights into survival and preservation. 3. I Atlas has been observed to carry ices, dust, and volatile compounds, materials that must endure the harsh vacuum of interstellar space, radiation, and thermal cycling. JWS data show its coma contains water ice, carbon monoxide, carbonyl sulfide, and heavy isotopes of carbon. All these point to a body that has preserved primordial materials and chemical signatures. If fragments accompany it, they too might encode chemical snapshots of their origin telling a more nuanced story of a distant system's protoplanetary environment. One of the most immediate implications concerns the mechanics of detection. Hidden companions, if truly present, are likely faint, small, and possibly separated by some distance from the main object. Their detection demands exquisite sensitivity and clever strategy. Observational campaigns would have to search the vicinity of 3i Atlas, not just for a bright single point of light, but for a constellation of faint bodies trailing or leading the main object. If the companions follow similar hyperbolic trajectories, they will be fleeting and difficult to isolate from background stars. This means the archival data of wide field surveys might be combed for faint glimmers, and future search programs must be ready to detect more than just isolated objects. The very definition of an interstellar visitor might need to broaden. There could be ensembles, not just solo travelers. Then there is the question of formation and fragmentation. If these nine objects are indeed related to 3i Atlas, what does that suggest about the origin of the system they once belonged to. Many comets, asteroids, and even interstellar bodies in our solar system point to collisional histories. The ejection of fragments from a star system might occur via multiple pathways, gravitational interactions with giant planets, stellar flybys, supernova explosions, or tidal disruption from passing too close to a star. The fact that multiple fragments may be moving together suggests a particular kind of event, perhaps a near solar passage in its native system, or a breakup event triggered by tidal forces. These fragments may share orbital vectors, composition, and age. If we can characterize each of them, we may reconstruct the timeline of their origin event. It becomes akin to cosmic archaeology, piecing together the fragmentation, ejection, and flight of bodies across light years of space. Furthermore, if an escort of faint companions exists, it challenges our assumptions about what an interstellar object looks like when it enters the solar system. Traditionally, we expected isolated bodies like Oumuamua or 2i slash Borisov, distinct lone travelers. But perhaps we should anticipate more complex systems, clusters, parent satellite structures, 
or groups of fragments ejected together. This could influence search algorithms and observational priorities. Rather than only tracking single points of light moving at high speed, astronomers may begin to look for mini-streams or trails of objects associated with a primary interstellar body. The implications extend to the nature of material in other star systems. If 3i Atlas and its companions originate from a distant system, they collectively carry the imprint of that environment. Their composition, structure, and dynamical relationship inform our models of planetesimal formation, collision outcomes, and ejection processes. For instance, if the companions show variation in composition or size, that could indicate radial segregation in the parent protoplanetary disk, larger fragments nearer the star, smaller ones further out, volatile rich versus volatile poor zones, and degrees of alteration or space weathering. If the fragments differ significantly from the main body, this may reflect differential processing over billions of years or disparate initial conditions. The dynamical geometry of the encounter also merits close attention. 3i Atlas is moving at tremendous speed. Over 130,000 miles per hour, approximately 210,000 kmh, according to observations. Its orbit is hyperbolic with an inclination and orientation suggesting a retrograde path nearly aligned with the ecliptic. If the hidden objects share that trajectory, they too will be fleeting visitors, but if they diverge slightly, perhaps trailing behind or moving ahead, they may present different encounter geometries with the sun, potentially altering their observable properties. Their activity could differ. Fragments might be more pristine or more devilatilized, with varying tails, coma shapes, or fragmentation behavior. The fact that JWST detected unusual chemistry in 3Y Atlas, such as a high CO2 to H2O ratio, raises the possibility that its companions could display spectrally divergent signatures, thus affording a comparative study within the same system. From a vantage point of solar system science, the presence of an escort raises questions about how our planetary neighborhood interacts with interstellar travelers. The sun acts like a gravitational lens and perturber. As such, fragments passing through may undergo tidal stretching, rotational changes, or even disintegration if they are loosely bound rubble piles. Observing multiple objects offers an opportunity to witness how interstellar bodies respond differently. Some may hold together, others may break apart. It provides a miniature laboratory for testing models of strength, cohesion, thermal response, and outgassing behavior under the combined influence of solar heating and interstellar origin. The broader cosmological implications are profound. Should we confirm that interstellar objects can travel in groups, we must consider that other other star systems may eject swarms of debris, not just single rogue bodies. This affects estimates of interstellar object populations, encounter rates, and the likelihood of discovering them in our own solar system. If interstellar visitors tend to travel in clusters, then the probability of detection increases, but so does the complexity of what we expect to see. It suggests that the story of solar system formation isn't isolated. Instead, it's part of a vast network of interchange where material flings across stars, traverses abyssal space, and occasionally visitors such as 3i Atlas bring with them companions. The unexpected escort notion also raises philosophical questions. Each interstellar object we observe is a messenger from afar carrying chemical records of distant times and places. If these objects come as many rather than one, then we have multiple messengers, each with a slightly different story but from the same origin. That multiplies the value of the encounter. Instead of a single snapshot, we might gain an ensemble view of processes in a distant protoplanetary system or star environment. It's like discovering not just one fossil, but an entire bone bed of specimens from a long extinct species. Of course, none of this is confirmed yet. The claim of nine hidden objects escorting three I Atlas is still speculative, but the very possibility is enough to ignite excitement. It prompts immediate observational campaigns, deep imaging around the path of 3i Atlas, careful photometric analyses to track faint apparent companions, and spectroscopic attempts to compare any found fragments with the main body. JWS, with its infrared sensitivity and spectrographic abilities, is uniquely poised to undertake such work. Already, it has revealed uncanny chemistry in the coma of 3i Atlas information that can guide searches for similar signatures among faint nearby points of light. Ground-based observatories and space-based monitors might also coordinate to monitor potential fragmentation events as the object passes perihelion and is subject to intense solar heating, which might release companions or expose hidden fragments. It is worth noting that the behavior of 3i Atlas itself is atypical. Its CO2 dominance, modest water output, and fine ice grains suggest it formed under very different conditions than typical 
solar system comets. If its companions share this unusual chemistry and geometry, they could reinforce the case of a common origin in an environment very unlike ours. Alternatively, if they differ significantly, that diversity might reflect internal differentiation, post-ejection processing, or variable degrees of exposure to space weathering. This offers an unprecedented comparative set of data points. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on the James Webb finding nine hidden objects near 3i Atlas? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.